Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a half case break from a fresh case of 2020-2021 Panini Mosaic Basketball. I think I got the right case. Yeah, I sure did. Pick your team number nine. At the end of the break, we'll randomize everybody's names. Two wax party spots being given away. So we'll have two names right there. Name on top and the second name on top. Separate dice roll at the end of the video. We'll, uh, we'll win those spots. So good luck. All cards ship right here as well. There is the half case. Or there's the fresh case right here. 2020, 2021, Mosaic Basketball Hobby Edition. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate everyone getting in. I think it's, it might, might, tomorrow might be the day for the new toner. Uh, I think Michael Logue with uh, Michael with the one, two, three, four, five quintuple last spot mojo right there. Picked up the last five teams to close out this break, so maybe a little extra magic. Going your way, Mike. Thank you for making that happen. Appreciate it. And let's see which half we're going to do here. All right. Rex saying, we're talking about him selling his collection at a, uh, at a fair. Getting a booth going there, which is not a bad idea, I think. You've been thinking about opening a small collectible store in town trading card. The nearest one's, what, 45 minutes away to you, Fort Wayne? Yeah, there, it's tough. I mean, I think it's almost impossible nowadays to get any kind of distribution account. At least that's the word on the street. All right, um, so let's do, there's six boxes on top. All right, top row, six box on the bottom. So we'll go one, two, three for the top row, four, five, six for the bottom row on the dice roll. We'll use that die right there. And it's one, top row. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll, we'll save these for some other time. I don't know if we're gonna post. It took a little bit to post to finish off this first half, so maybe we'll save these for a mixer or something like that. So six boxes right here. Thanks everybody for making this happen. There it is, 2020, 2021. Hobby has one autograph per box on average. A lot of other fun stuff that we want to chase as well. think there's any kind of monthly or yearly fee per se, Rex, um, for a distribution account. You pretty much have to apply and then they, then they decide whether they accept you or not. And that depends on, you know, how new is your business? How long have you been running a hobby shop? All, all sorts of, all sorts of questions that are, that are involved there. And then it's money, right? How, how much how much product are you gonna buy, you know, each quarter or whatever? The more you buy, the bigger your allocations get. I, I know some people that that like will will have a distribution account, but they're only allocated like every time a major release comes out, they only get like one case because they just don't buy that much. I, I would imagine there are, pe there are people who have distribution accounts who, who have the account but maybe aren't super active, probably don't get a lot of stuff in general. So they bring all that, so that's why it's almost impossible to get. Because I mean, for the, for the bigger hobby shops and the bigger breakers that are out there, you know, the big topic of conversation is no one, there's just so many people that are buying that it's, uh, that even some of the bigger breakers um, are like, we're not getting enough cases. So that, that's a constant, constant uh, topic of conversation amongst all the breakers and whenever they run into their distributors that like, 
the Mint Collective show or the National or something like that. Those are conversations that are being uh, being have. <laughs> How did they may not even have one? Don't assume everyone out there has has an account. They may be they may just be paying they may just be paying retail or finding some discounts here and there somewhere. So I don't know what their case is, but but I think in general. I think there's there's a lot of sort of stories of, and I don't know specifically about those guys, but you know there's a lot of conversations about hey how did how did these like these new guys come out of nowhere and blah 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 blah. You know you can always you can always throw money at an issue right. Six out of forty nine Tyrese Halliburton for the Kings. That'll be for Michael. And the Kings and the Warriors, Jeff Lydell with the Warriors. Got that Weissman mosaic relic from earlier and then that base Weissman. Not, I don't think he's coming back this season, but, but hopefully he'll come back strong next year. Our first autograph is DeLon Wright. Sacramento Kings. That's going to go to Michael. Yeah, there, you know, there's been some, and, and you know, obviously with, at least with with baseball for now, there's a James Weissman silver. Jeff, I think there's some speculation now that um, that fanatics may could change up the entire sort of distribution structure. There's been some rumblings about that. I don't know what's true or what's not, but that's been sort of the sort of the buzz that there could be big changes there so that's even more of a reason why like distribution companies probably won't be looking to accept new distributors a top loader not not worthy of Anthony Edwards all right there we go Anthony Edwards with Minnesota, Matt. There's Onyeko Kongu to 99. So yeah, I think there's some speculation that they don't want, um, like what happened with uh, that Facebook breaker who gets certain cases and then just straight sells them instead of breaking them. I don't think, uh, I, I think they want to try to not have that happen. The idea being is that cases will end up going to hobby shops and boxes being sold in hobby shops to the general population. You know what I mean? Like that's one of the rumors going around that that's what that's what fanatics wants to do. All rumors. Some of it could be true. All of it could be true. I don't know. That's some of the things that are kind of floating around out there. But from uh, from what we've been hearing, I think think with fanatics anyway that they're definitely they're definitely interested in 
I mean, like once they took over tops, like I don't think anyone got fired or anything like that. At least not in not in like the. I mean, maybe there's some crossover in the accounting department and stuff like that. Maybe maybe some redundancies there, but for the most part, ooh, nice Lamelo ball. Nice mosaic pattern, Lamelo ball for Jeff and Charlotte. Nice one, Jeff. But from what I do know, I, th I think um, the, the Fanatics definitely wants to kind of let the let Tops at least, from what we've heard, just operate as they normally would. You know, they're the experts. They've been doing this for a while. It's just that Tops now has just sort of a bigger budget to work with now because of Fanatics. You know, so there's that. And yeah, I think I think the the rumors are like like they well that and they think they believe in the hobby shop. They want to keep the hobby shops, you know, and which is which makes sense, you know. I mean, when we buy their products, we're selling their products. We'll be advertising it every day, right? It's just a whole network of hobby shops advertising their stuff. That's what they want. Is that, those blues are not numbered. Oh, that that number is printed in a weird, weird spot right there. That's a sort of a misprint right there. But that'll go to the uh, the Hornets and Jeff. But I think all the rumored sort of changes that are happening on the between for you and me, I think you know us breaking with you. That relationship doesn't change. You know, we'll be around. We'll still be breaking product. Business wise, though. You know, like on the back end of stuff, how we get product and all that, that could change for a lot of people depending on where they where they stand. But like you said, Rex, yeah. I mean I think I think they wanna be able to kind of tighten up the hobby a little bit. At least that's that's what that's what the speculation is. In there's Danny Manning. What what actually happens on a day to day level, well that's yet that's T V D, obviously. We haven't seen it yet. But everyone seems to be, at least at the Mint show, everyone seemed to be from the buyer end, the vendor end, and the, and the manufacturer distribu dis distribution end, everyone seemed to be cautiously optimistic. You asked Chris last night, but what do you think about the Bowman basketball and football? Do you think they'll end up surpassing Prism Select Mosaic Lewis? Um, I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. You know, like if if Panini doesn't get sold to Fanatics, and they try, maybe they'll go unlicensed basketball and football. I'm not sure how many people, how many collectors would be all over that. That remains to be seen what the appetite is afterwards. Or if there's Dame going to Portland, Jesse with that one. Or if if uh, if Fanatics ends up buying Panini, which I don't know if they will or not, but if they end up doing that, then you know I think Prism Selected Mosaic will be will be fine. It'll, it'll run as operated. But who knows? Who knows what will happen? It'll, it'll all depend on where 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 Panini and Fanatics is, and Tops stands when all those licenses start to expire and shift over to the other party. So we'll see. In a full, in in a in a perfect world, Rex. At least from my perspective, I would love to have, I would love to have, somehow have Bowman basketball, Bowman football, and Prism basketball, and Prism football all fully licensed. Will that happen? I don't know. 
I would love to have all those popular Panini and Topps brands fully licensed. Panini recently lost their, their sticker license because Panini is originally an Italian company that did a lot of the sticker books for the World Cups and all the major soccer tournaments all over the world. That's what a lot of, uh, you know, like we grew up with trading cards and a lot of kids in like Europe grew up with those sticker books. Um, UEFA, the, the governing body for European soccer, actually awarded tops the licenses for some of their big European tournaments. Not the World Cup. I think Panini still has the World Cup, but the sticker books are now under under tops now starting in a couple of years or so. I don't know when. So we'll see what happens there. I don't know. A lot of, a lot of stuff in flux. Most people cautiously optimistic. You know, a lot of speculation, a lot of rumors out there. And so we'll we'll see how how all this works out in practice. I think overall business wise, we're going to be fine. Well, there's no worries there. Um, just adjusting to how it's going to change. Some people will be able to adapt. Some people won't. Seventy four and ninety nine Compazzo for Denver. Cole Anthony for Orlando, that's gonna to go to Michael. Compazzo going to Carter and the Denver Nuggets. There's another Lamello, just base Lamello this time. It's for Jeff and Charlotte. And a National Pride Silver Lamello Ball for Jeff and the Hornets. I like those National Pride cards. I think looks. I thought when we first did this product, started doing mosaic. I thought there were gonna be different countries and like different flags in the background there. I thought that would have been cool, but it'd have been a nice extra, nice set to collect. But no, it's just just us, just the United States. What we got 11 out of 25, Precious Achua. Oh man, come on, Rex. Come on, Shannon. Your phone died right after you asked about Bowman? You're, gonna, you're just gonna have to watch the video and go back and then hear my, hear my response. My response was, was worthy of, of a speech at the United Nations. Rex, that's how excellent the answer was. Man, if, if, if it was written down on a piece of paper, it would win Pulitzers. People would be like, people would be like, there was the Gettysburg Address, there was JFK's inaugural speech, you know, there was, there was Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech, and then Joe's commentary on, on Bowman. Oh, man. That, it would have been ranked amongst those, those speeches. People will be writing sonnets about it forever, you know? Man. Kids will be, kids will be memorizing what I said in, in, in classrooms in 15, 20 years. No, the, the short answer is, it depends. 
on on what on what uh here's James Wiseman autograph. Jeff with the Warriors. Now it'll just depend on what what Panini does. Do they continue doing licensed products or unlicensed products? Do they get bought by Fanax? Do they forge their own path? Etc. 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 So there, I mean, it just depends. In a perfect world, they'll be able to they'll be able to have licensed products, whether that's because they buy a license from Fanatics or because Fanatics buys them or something like that. If they end up going with unlicensed, then I don't know. Who knows what's, how the market's going to react to that. be interesting. There's Lonzo, 38 out of 49. It's a Pelicans edition going to Evan. National Pride Anthony Edwards for Minnesota, Matt Lieber. And look at this, Matt. I think these are not too common from what I remember when we were doing a lot of these group breaks. The red parallel rookies. They're not numbered, but I think they're a tad bit more short printed, so. Uh, should be nice, I hope. I'll bet by now you probably have to get it graded for maximum value, but still nice. There you go, Matt. Matt with the Timberwolves. Another National Pride Lamello Ball. And that's Jeff with Charlotte. KCP, Jalen Brown to 99. For Jeff and the Celtics. Patrick Williams, rookie for the Bulls. That'll be for Mark. Base James Wiseman for Golden State for Jeff. I wonder if uh, someone like James Wiseman would be a good buy low candidate. Zion too for that matter. Dinwiddie for the Nets. All right, two more boxes to go. What do, we, what do we have coming up after this? Whatever our schedule says. Oh, and I, we get, there's two wax party spots being given away here too, as well. Another base, Anthony Edwards, Timberwolves.
Cole Anthony has been having a nice season here. Fox in the box, Aaron Fox, 10 out of 99 for Michael and the Kings. And Roy Hibbert is our autograph. Pacers, that's going to be for Evan in Indiana. We named the dog Indiana. A lot of fond memories of that dog. Another Lamello ball for Jeff and the Hornets. Got a white parallel OB top in NBA debut, 22 out of 25. And that is for the Knicks. That's going to go to Michael and the Knicks. Michael Logue. All right, final box. So sixth and final box here in our half case hobby break, Pick Your Team 9, 2020, 2021 Infinity Mosaic Basketball. Two wax party spots being given away at the end. Then we've got a few more things on the schedule that we're gonna do and that should bring us to the end of our night. So we are booked for the night. Anything else that has sold out after our last break of the night will happen tomorrow. I'll be back, three o'clock Pacific, six o'clock Eastern. We're here seven nights a week. So whatever we don't get to today, we'll get to tomorrow. All right, good luck. Nice Anthony Edwards mosaic. We saw a lamello similar to this. Anthony Edwards mosaic parallel looking sharp for Matt and the T-Wolves. There's a Lamello again. Another great season for him. Jeff with the Hornets. Another Cole Anthony for Orlando. Michael Logue. There's DeJunta Murray, 24 out of 99 for the Spurs. And Peter Eng with the Spurs. And our autograph is Xavier Tillman. Grizzlies looking really good this season. They looks like they got a pretty well balanced team. Exclamation point is John Moran, of course. There's Mark with the Grizz. There you go, Mark with Duncan Robinson. So we'll see how that young team does in the playoffs. Could be really good for the hobby for, for people who are holding on to some John Morants.
NBA debut, Anthony Edwards for Matt. Oh, and a silver Anthony Edwards. There you go. Nice. For Matt. Got a Rudy Gobert. White parallel to 25. And it'll be for Logan and his Jazz. Four out of 25. And what else do we got here? We got some Mo Bamba, Peyton Pritchard blue chips, and straight fire. Kevin Durant. There you go, gang. Nice break. We're gonna do. Uh, we'll we'll do a this, this break is a little over thirty minutes, so we'll do a quick recap after we give away the wax party spots. Let's gather everybody's names from Josh down to Michael and everybody in between. New dice, new lists, and remember top two get wax party spots. Good luck. Top two after two and a two. The deuces are wild. Four times. Four the hard way. Good luck. One, two, three, and four. Now this time the sad time spot, well, a lot of sad time spots, but the really sad time spot is spot three because that's super close, but not quite. Jeff. Oh my God, Jeff. It's three and four. Rough times, Jeff, but thank you for, uh, for getting in. Appreciate it. Um, top two, though, happy times for you because you are in the wax party. Chance to win a case. Uh, well, you're going to win something. You're guaranteed something if you're in the wax party. But the grand prize, if the randomizer goes your way, case of NT basketball. Check out the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got Michael. You're in. And Carter, you're in. So congrats to the both of you. After four, the hard way. Bam, it's official. Remember, you can always check that list that you see right here. If you click the break schedule, go to the party face emoji tab right down there and that'll take you to, uh, to that list right there so you make sure you're on that list. All right, thanks everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Oh, recap. How about we do a quick little recap? Pretty nice break actually. A lot of different parallels. Some silver Anthony Edwards, mosaic Anthony Edwards, lamello balls, red Anthony Edwards, James Weissman autograph. We had that... Uh, uh, Richard Hamilton autograph, that went to Steve H. Uh, and the Pistons, Silver Lamello, Mosaic Lamello, James Weissman Silver, and Mosaic Pattern right there as well. Nice stuff. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Now we're done. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.